Welcome back guys. My name is Vivek. So now this is the continuation part of fourth related to AWS series. So just like I have told you about I will take a 40 uh, like 60 sessions related to AWS. Then we will learn the solution architect level exam. Okay. So, so continuation of that series, we have a session number four. So last we learn something so we need to summarize this topic what we learned in the last so last in the third session we learned about that uh, data centers about the data centers and why we need a virtualization and uh, after that first we go inside the first we discuss about the data centers like on premises data centers after that we discuss the virtualizations by using hypervisor hypervisor is nothing other it's virtualization layers okay top of the hypervisor we can create a vm multiple vm that used uh, that use uh, hardware resources on your os right and second thing is third thing is we learn a cloud well, then they introduce a cloud okay cloud virtualization cloud so just I need to summarize this last topic. Go ahead, go ahead, guys. So we learned about first is the virtualization. This top maybe topic is up and down. Okay, it's okay. Virtualization first topic is. virtualization we learn virtualization second is we learn about that host machine what is that host machine and all topic last three all topic and uh, third one is host machine we learn dns okay all the dns domain names will be learned and we learn in the fifth topic, fourth topic is VMs. What is that VMs? Okay. Fifth, uh, fifth topic is nothing but the what is data centers. Okay. Today also I will discuss data centers. Okay. So now and uh, Fifth and sixth is nothing but a load balancer. Can you use the load balancer? Load balancer. And seventh is firewall. Firewall. And our topic, the eighth topic is our hypervisor. Hypervisor. Sir, maybe a spelling mistake. Don't buy hard. What don't buy hard taking a guy spelling mistake? Okay, hypervisor and uh, next is uh, nothing but the protocols also. Okay, protocol. These nine topic we discussed in the last sessions. Okay, so now today's topic is I'm just explaining about that. First, we learn about data centers. Data center, right? Second, we learned about that infrastructure. Structure. Sure. Okay. And uh, infrastructures and remote. Remote location, what is that remote location? And what is cloud? Cloud. Very good definition I will give, okay? What is cloud? Cloud computing. Computing and computing. What is cloud computing? What is computing? 
computing and what is that last point is deployment model meant model right deployment model and next topic is our service model so these many topics today we will cover so let's start our today's day discussions uh last discussion we need to discuss some some more time so last discuss last session we discuss about the data centers right so what is the data center just uh, giving a story point story kind of thing to you suppose my data center central kata one for my sister so data center is handling the too much had a work so that's why one person cannot handle that data centers and as well as it's increasing the cost of the data centers and it will consuming the more electricity and more <clears throat> effort is needed and if you want to uh, add one new server in the data center it will take a more hours okay that's some drawbacks are there in the side that uh, on premise data center then one thing is come into the picture like revolution kind of thing hypervisor like nothing but a virtualization we need a virtualization is nothing but a, what is that virtualization we come so virtualization hypervisor we can virtualize the hypervisor is nothing but a virtualization layer so top of that hypervisor you can create a multiple machines suppose we have a hardware right we have a hardware top of the hardware we have one hypervisor hypervisor understand this is hardware and top of this hardware hypervisor we can create a multiple vm this is nothing but a vm virtual machine we created 1 2 3 it will take a resource from where this machine host machine you can see you can also call as the host machine okay i think you understood so now come into that next thing okay so tell me guys one thing what is the data center what is the data center so data centers is nothing but just i'm giving okay so now my question is guys tell me what is data center center so data center is nothing but having so many servers in a single room is called data centers like we have a we have this room okay room take our intelligent main okay okay perfect so this is one server this is one server should be taken na this is one server this is one server this is one server so we called as not this one okay this is not intel it's taking at the room okay if this is not ai pin i don't this is passive pin i want okay take as the square if you like that so here what is that this is nothing but a server theek hai this is server take a different color this is server this is server and this is one room called so total thing we can say what is that this is total thing we can say
We can say, what is that we can say? Total thing we can say, this is that uh, nothing but data centers. It's called data center. So definition is kaise banegi iski? In single loop, single loop having so many server servers is called is called data center it's a general definition okay what is that it's a general definition so now next my question is coming guys to you so after that we have a data center this is about last session we have or next is what is that aws provider aws providing is nothing but a infrastructure as a service aws is what is that is he is providing aws guys AWS providing infrastructure as a service, right? So, tell me guys. So, can we say AWS a global infrastructure globally like that? Globally, yes, we can say in AWS providers are the globally infrastructures. My Kamata, India. Data center kaha hai? Mumbai mein hoga, Hyderabad mein hoga, US mein hoga. Main baithe baithe isi place se US ke data centers mein apne server bana sakte hain. To isse kya pata chalta hai? Jo AWS hai na, wo globally hai. To kya hoga? The point is that AWS, AWS global infrastructure has global infra infrastructure having globally infrastructures right so aws is having global infrastructures infrastructures suppose Example तौर पे लो ये क्या है ये एक मुंबई हो गया ये हैदराबाद हो गया ये यूएस हो गया ये ओ यूएस में ओ है ओ तो ये भाई मेरा क्या कर रहा है ना ये सारे को ग्लोबली रिप्रेजेंट करता है ठीक है तो तो ये क्या हो गया ए डब्ल्यू एस ए डब्ल्यू एस ये हो गया ए डब्ल्यू एस ठीक है ये क्या हो गया ये सपोज करो मुंबई हो गया मुंबई ये क्या हो गया यूएस यूएस में डेटा सेंटर्स ओहायो एंड एच बाई डी मींस हैदराबाद एंड इंडिया में मुंबई और हैदराबाद में लेटेस्ट ओके एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज थम्बेरल्स लाइक वर्जीनिया नॉर्थ वर्जीनिया नॉर्थ वर्जीनिया लाइक दैट इट्स अवेलेबल इनसाइड द ग्लोबल यू कैन क्रिएट योर डेटा योर सर्वर anywhere so that means it's a global so aws it's a global infrastructure so what is that meaning so that's why aws what is this provider aws what is that provider it's a <clears throat> aws aws is providing is providing 
infrastructure as a service. Sure, as a <clears throat> as a service. So AWS is providing infrastructure as a service. So that means infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as a service. So suppose AWS has a global infrastructure. So infrastructure is provided. So that's why I'm writing this point. So, so now question coming in the mind, what is that cloud? So now you can say, what is that AWS providing? Infrastructure as a service. Now, what is that cloud is providing? Infrastructure as a service. Now next point is about, what is that cloud? So tell me. Mm -hmm. Writing a question. Okay. So now question is what is cloud? Cloud, right? What is cloud? Don't think sky is the cloud. Sky is the cloud. Don't think. Don't think. Don't think about this. Cloud means not a sky. Cloud. Cloud is just a term they provided. Cloud now I will tell you also in this video. Cloud means cloud just as remote locations. Okay. Remote location Jase up usko access customer. So now point is making cloud is present in the remote locations. Cloud is let's change the colors. Cloud is cloud wait, cloud is present rent in the remote location so now question raise that what is remote location so remote location so remote location is nothing but remote location is remote location is data centers तो भाई बताओ अब डेटा सेंटर क्या है डेटा सेंटर ये ठीक है बताया ना डेटा सेंटर कहां पे एक रूम में सर्वर से उसे डेटा सेंटर्स कहते हैं तो इंडिया में कहां पे डेटा सेंटर है अपना मुंबई में तो मुंबई क्या हो गया मुंबई इज द रिमोट लोकेशन सो इसे बोलते हैं रिमोट लोकेशन मुंबई को मुंबई को बोलेंगे दिस इज द रिमोट लोकेशन ओके सो सो मुंबई is the remote location location and other thing also etc i like that dekho mumbai bhi ho gaya remote location or ohio bhi ho gaya remote location like data center is called also also you can call regions regions mumbai regions okay Regions is nothing but regions is also nothing but is one type of data. This is the data center. Here I am adding one thing. Regions are regions are nothing but 
nothing but data center अब देखना गूगल जो मैनेजमेंट कंसोल है ना गूगल का वहां पर रीजन आते हैं मुंबई आएगा वर्जीनिया आएगा नॉर्थ ट्वेंटी थ्री रिमोट लोकेशन रिमोट location okay remote location and tell me what is the remote location remote location is cloud okay is cloud so now data centers now come into that picture what is the data centers is data centers now first point is complete and remote is complete now data center is data center is nothing but nothing but having what is that having infrastructures what is that infrastructures nothing but it's having infrastructures infrastructures go guys getting my point so you can say data centers is having that infrastructures so now the question is rising what is that infrastructures so infrastructure is nothing infrastructure is having sir is having kya hai iske paas data देखो अब पता चल गया ना डेटा सेंटर इज हैविंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अब भाई ये डेटा सेंटर है मेरा तो ये इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ही तो हो गया रूम हो गया इसका ये इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ही तो लगा दिया इसके हार्डवेयर जो लगाए हमने वो ही तो हो गया तो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हो गया तब तो ये जो मैंने इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इतना तैयार करा ये वाला जो रेडी करा भाई ठीक है इसको तैयार करने में जो टाइम लगा वो लगा इसकी कॉस्ट लगी तो ये ए ने प्रिपेयर करा ठीक है इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अब अब इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के पास क्या है इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के पास अभी तो मैंने नॉर्मल टर्म बनाई थी ना रूम अब रूम की जगह हटा के इसको रिप्लेस कर दो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंफ्रा ठीक है इंफ्रा तो यार इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज हैविंग लॉट ऑफ थिंग व्हाट इज दैट सर्विसेज लॉट ऑफ सर्विसेज हैविंग सर्विसेज लाइक बी एम इट्स हैविंग राइट डेटाबेस these all things they are providing as a service what is the database also and networking network like that so now we have right now infrastructures we come into that infrastructure part so tell me cloud is present in the where in the remote location so remote location is having data centers what is that remote location is having data centers right what is that remote location i mean the data centers right so here you can see this point and remote location also remote locations remote location is a data centers what is that remote location is data centers and data center is nothing but a having infrastructures why data center hai data center kya kar raha hai infrastructure hi to having kar raha hai have have infrastructures theek hai to uske baad kya hoga data centers is nothing but infrastructure right so infrastructure kya hai infrastructures mein kya hai infrastructures mein hamare paas hai na servers servers hai database hai or like something something else so many things we have right got it one point if you are facing any doubt if you are having any doubt so please comment in the comment box so i will improve my thing okay everything is the learning process guys
तो पीपल थिंग पीपल थिंग मैं एक बार एक बात बताता हूँ क्या बोलता हाँ हम ये सोच रहे हैं कि क्लाउड मतलब बादलों में क्लाउड स्काई क्लाउड इन द स्काई बट नो क्लाउड इन ऑल्सो इन द अर्थ सो वट इज द क्लाउड इन द रिमोट लोकेशन इज द क्लाउड राइट रिमोट लोकेशन इज द क्लाउड so now got it na remote location is nothing but a data centers data centers is nothing but a having infrastructure infrastructure is providing what is that what is that called what is that called what is that they are providing services lot of services i am just writing two three services but they are providing lot of services in the different different modes okay so now come into the next slide so in the this slide okay let's take a some then okay or uh, taking some other color beautiful color or uh, this this can we can take okay so got it my point so now point is now next point is over what is that okay 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 so can you called remote location is a cloud can we call so here write it write one more thing remote location is called what is that cloud right remote location is called cloud now next point is so when you want to connect when we want to connect with that remote location so what is the requirement suppose <clears throat> this is one system like this is another system okay in the different place suppose this is in the delhi This is in uh, somewhere else like Kannauj. So I want to connect with this. These are also available as the remote location. Remote location, RL you can say, remote location. So I want to connect with this. So we need an internet. What is the requirement? Internet we need. Okay. So the this concept is coming to olden days this is not a new word to say that the cloud cloud is coming from the old old days also so that person called internet i need to connect so the remote location is having in the delhi and one person present in that uh, available in the kannauj so they want to communicate with each other by using their internet connections if you having internet connection then easily that same same process is having inside that cloud so inside the, this is the cloud is the aws cloud what is that aws cloud provider that's why we are saying aws cloud provider amazon web services cloud provider provider Suppose, इसके पास अमेजन क्लाउड प्रोवाइडर के पास डेटा है ठीक है डेटा सेंटर्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जोन्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट रीजन में ठीक है लाइक ओहायो ओहायो मुंबई एंड इंडिया लाइक इंडिया इन दैदराबाद ऑल्सो सो सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू यूज दैट सर्विसेज विच आर प्रोवाइडिंग बाई द गूगल सॉरी एमेजोन cloud provider so i am here okay i am that fatty guy <laughs> i'll see okay i send a request to that aws infrastructures as a service 
Or you got these are all infrastructure. Give the request to the cloud provider. Hey cloud, I need a one machine. Then they will just provide your uh, required requirement on that their management console. Then they will provide a one machine as a virtually. Then you can use that machine inside the data center itself in your systems. Okay, so this is cloud provider, guys. So same thing happen in that we are connecting with that another thing here and we are here by using internet. So internet is the basic thing it's required. Okay. Now, final point is so AWS is cloud provider. AWS AWS is cloud provider who is who is providing who is providing infrastructure structure as a service samajhna kya kar raha hai google is a cloud provider aur wo apni infrastructure as a service provide karta hai jo uska infrastructure hai agar main batau last slide mein maine bata rakha tha yahan pe infrastructure is the global infrastructure okay so aws providing infrastructure as a service तो ये देखो यहाँ पे देखो क्लाउड इज प्रेजेंट इन द वे रिमोट लोकेशन ठीक है एंड रिमोट लोकेशन इज नथिंग बट वट इज दट डेटा सेंटर लाइक मुंबई का डेटा सेंटर इज नथिंग बट हैविंग द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तो डेटा सेंटर के पास इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है इसी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को मैं यूज करूंगा ठीक है तो गूग एमेजॉन ए डब्ल्यू एस ए डब्ल्यू एस यही बोलता है कि जो हमने ये सर्वर जो हमने ये सर्वर्स बना रखे हैं ना इनको तुम यूज करो ठीक है इनको यूज करो आराम ठीक इन काम क्यों नहीं करा पता नहीं अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है ऐसे काम करो समझ रहे तो यही बताया है इस स्लाइड क्या बताया है स्लाइड एमेजोन इज क्लाउड प्रोवाइडर हु इज प्रोवाइडिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज ए सर्विस समझ रहे विच इज प्रोवाइडिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज ए सर्विस सो सो नाउ अप टू दिस इज क्लियर टू यू वाइज तो क्लाउड क्या होता है इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर क्या होता है रिमोट लोकेशन क्या होती है नाउ वी आर वन रिवीजन काइंड ऑफ थिंग वी आर सूट आउट थिंग ओके देन वी वाइंड अप दिस सेशन ओके नेक्स्ट वीडियो लर्न सम अदर थिंग्स ओके टेल मी व्हाट इज द रिमोट लोकेशन remote location what is that the remote location remote location is a data center what is that meaning like remote location is the data center and this now question is data center data center is having the infrastructures and then what is that infrastructures infrastructures is having that services like database applications ec2 virtual machines storage network this is all the infrastructures so now that why we said aws is cloud provider so what is that cloud cloud is nothing but the remote locations okay don't think cloud in the sky cloud in itself in the earth it's a remote location where we access by using internet got it so now next point is coming on the 
क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग क्या होता है एनीवन नो अबाउट दैट क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग एनीवन हैविंग आइडिया अबाउट दैट क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग हम्म ओके नो ओके क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग कंप्यूटिंग यही टॉपिक है ना हम ठीक है क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग हाँ क्लाउड क्लाउड कंप्यूटर रिमोट अंडर कंप्यूटिंग पहले हम कंप्यूटिंग देखते हैं सो कंप्यूटिंग क्या होता है बताओ कंप्यूटिंग मीन्स कंप्यूट योर ऑपरेशन जैसे हमने कोई डिलीट करा ऐड करा फोल्डर अपने कंप्यूटर में डिलीट करा ऐड करा अपडेट करा तो कैलकुलेशन डिली एड टू नंबर थ्री नंबर फोर नंबर फाइव नंबर दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग यू कॉल द कंप्यूटिंग सो ऐसे कैसे करते हो अपनी क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग क्या करता है अपने लोकल सिस्टम पे ये आपका सिस्टम मैं मान लेता हूँ मैंने मान लिया ये तुम्हारा कंप्यूटर है ठीक है ये तुम्हारा कंप्यूटर है ठीक ये जैसे तुम्हारा कंप्यूटर है तो तुम इसमें तो क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग करते हो गए इसमें क्लाउड इस सॉरी नॉट क्लाउड कंप्यूटर इसमें कंप्यूटिंग करते ये लोकल सिस्टम है तुम्हारा ठीक है कंप्यूटिंग करता अब यही कंप्यूटिंग क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग में आके आपको क्लाउड पे करनी यही सेम थिंग ठीक है अब ये आपका सिस्टम है और ये क्या है अगर कोई मुझे ठीक है बनाना चाहो बट बना नहीं तो मैं इसको रेस करता हूँ भाई ठीक है तो यहाँ पे ये क्लाउड ठीक अब तुम रिक्वेस्ट करोगे इस क्लाउड को ठीक है आई वॉन्ट सम कंप्यूटिंग ऑपरेशन लाइक आई डिलीट समथिंग 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 तो इसे बोलते हैं क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग अब तुम अपने लोकल सिस्टम पे कुछ नहीं कर रहे हो ना अब तुम इस क्लाउड पे कर रहे हो इस पे तुमने ए डब्ल्यू एस को कहा भाई मुझे ये मशीन दे दो दे दी उसने ठीक है अब तुम अपने मशीन को कनेक्ट कर रहे हो अपने सिस्टम से और जो भी ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म कर रहे हो वो यहाँ पे रुको क्लाउड तो इसे ही बोलते हैं क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग तो डेफिनेशन अगर बनाए ना तो संपन्न बनेगी संपन्न क्या बनेगी व्हेन यू आर यूजिंग क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इट मींस यू आर डूइंग इन दैट यू आर डूइंग समथिंग इन साइड दैट समथिंग डूइंग ऑपरेशन इन द क्लाउड वेन यू आर यूजिंग द क्लाउड मीन्स रिमोट लोकेशन राइट रिमोट लोकेशन इजी ना यू आर डूइंग आई कैन राइट कंप्यूटिंग मींस आपने लोकल सिस्टम पे इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग राइटिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग कंप्यूटिंग in your local in your local machine machine or on premises on premises on premises now now you can now you can now you can what is it now you can do the computing do computing computing operation inside the cloud cloud is nothing but a remote remote location 
समझ गया तो रिमोट लोकेशन वही है पहले हम कहा करते हमने लोकल सिस्टम पे अब कहा कर रहे हैं क्लाउड पे तो ये डेफिनेशन बनती है क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग की अब कंप्यूटिंग क्या होता है ऑपरेशन बेसिक ऑपरेशन जो जो तुम बेस ऑपरेशंस परफॉर्म कर रहे हो लाइक डिलीटिंग अपडेटिंग क्रिएटिंग मैच और ओके सो दैट थिंग यू आर डूइंग इन दैट लोकल बट नाउ यू आर डूइंग दैट वेयर इन द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग सो नाउ दिस इज कंप्लीटेड अप टू दिस इज कंप्लीटेड आई थिंक इट्स क्लियर टू यू सो नाउ नेक्स्ट इज अवर व्हाट इज दैट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज लेट्स गो बैक these two things are completed deployment mode deployment mode deployment mode theek hai to deployment model kya hai deployment model is or or we can say type of उड सो जनरली वी हैव थ्री टाइप ऑफ क्लाउड पब्लिक क्लाउड ऐसे समझो प्राइवेट क्लाउड एंड हाइब्रिड क्लाउड हाइब्रिड क्लाउड सो प्राइवेट क्लाउड इट मीन्स इट पब्लिकली अवेलेबल लाइक anyone can access or the public and private is only authorized person can access in the that private cloud is available inside the organization particular organization that person can only use by using vpn okay so private can access hybrid is both combination of both uh, model like private and public so this is that uh, about a public cloud and an example here you can see public cloud is aws we have azure we have and uh, gcp theek hai gcp aur uh, private mein kya hai uh, oracle suppose oracle having that na oracle its own cloud having but it's not available as a publicly okay it's not available as a publicly right so that and hybrid is both combination of both private and public so now come into the next next point what is that point service module service module okay service module service model okay so google providing three services first is infrastructure as a service structure as a service this is not in structure related to that okay this is the different don't compare with that okay so infrastructure as a service and uh, what is that next one the okay, platform as a service form as a service service theek okay. hai next is platform as a service next is mm-hmm, mm-hmm. platform as a service software as a service there as a service aws providing these three services so don't say as pass and saas don't say this kind of thing just say in structure as a service platform as a service and software as a service and tomorrow we will learn about that topic okay so thank you tab tak ke liye tada good night एंड मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में विद दैट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज ए सर्विस प्लेटफॉर्म एज ए सर्विस ओके
okay so not kind of thing if you want then just go and check our this is here last video not are available okay <clears throat> And all this thing, all notes are available, guys. All notes. I'm just go inside that file section. Here I am uploading this notes. Okay. So take from it. Let's see if there are any remaining topic is there. Okay. We completed data centers. Okay. Virtualization, I know. Okay. Virtualization, we know. Like creating the virtual machines. Okay. Like we cannot touch. And host machine is top of the host machine we can create a virtualizations dns domain name server like it's identifying that ip address related to your domain by using dns top level dns low like root level dns and top level dns and no name servers then sos these four the five steps are there then come into that then it's hitting your url data centers we completed like having what is that it's, it is having a single loop multi if you having in a in a single loop multiple servers multiple servers are there then you can say this is the data centers what is the load balance it is the distributing the load to your applications for your applications fireball it's a, a stop for the unauthorized person hypervisor it's the one layer for the virtualization one layer for the virtualization layer of the virtualization top of the hypervisor we can create a multiple virtual machine protocol we know four, four protocol i have given first is the http http is an http yes and ssh and what is the rtp so now tell me the port number http 80 http yes 443 http yes http okay ssh double two okay and rdp 6389 i think so something related to that it's okay and data centers also we know that infrastructure infrastructure is having nothing but services database database network all the things remote location is nothing but a cloud 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 is a remote location is called cloud cloud computing having that compute operation in that cloud instead of local computing is performing that delete update like of things operation deployment model we have a three deployment model called a, a type of cloud right type of cloud we have three public cloud private cloud and hybrid cloud service model AWS providing us some services. These services we can use infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. So this is today's session. We completed. We will meet next session. So thank you. Thank you. Bye.